Hi, I'm Sarah Comerford, and we're going to be making caramelized Vidalia onion rolls from one of my favorite vegetable cookbooks, the Victory Garden Cookbook by Marion Morash. So um, this is a really easy recipe, and what I've done already is that I've taken two packages of active dry yeast and proofed it in warm water. And from here on in, we're just going to make the dough, which is all in one step, very easy. I'll take my bowl, and to that I am going to add three eggs, teaspoon of salt, actually two teaspoons of salt, and a half a cup of vegetable shortening, see if I can get it out of the bowl, half a cup of sugar, and I'm going to start my mixer. Now I have four and a half to five cups of flour here, but I'm going to start by just adding about two and a half cups to it at a time, slowly. This is a sticky dough and it's a sweet dough, so you don't want to add too much flour. Just let it mix up like that. These rolls are a favorite in my family. I think my kids like them because they're sweet and I like them because of the Vidalia onions which actually you can get this time of year, surprisingly enough. They're not just a summer thing. So I'm going to let that mix up now. Now that the dough has reached a nice sticky consistency, I'm going to transfer it to another bowl, cover it, and let it double in bulk. So now I have this beautiful dough that has risen. It's double in, doubled in bulk. It was sat for about an hour to achieve this. And I'm going to do what I think is one of the most fun parts, which is to punch it down. It's a little bit sticky, so it may stick to your hand, but don't worry. So I'm going to punch it down like that, get all the air out, loosen it up from the bowl a little bit, like that. And then I'm going to cover it with a clean piece of saran wrap, and I'm going to put it in the fridge for four to six hours or overnight, which makes it really easy if you're trying to do something ahead of time. And when it comes out, it will be beautiful and ready to roll out. Now the next thing we're going to do is slice up some onions to caramelize for the rolls. And you would think that it's a complicated process, but it's not. Start with some nice fresh Vidalia onions if you can get them. You can use plain onions too if you can't. Slice them about a quarter of an inch thick, like that. Get your pan nice and hot. Add two tablespoons of butter. It's always about the butter. You can use a little olive oil if you like as well. You want your pan nice and hot, but not so hot that you're going to scorch the onions because you want to cook them slowly. That releases the sugar in the onions. There you go. Add them in. Oh, those smell so good. And now I'm just going to let these cook down. The whole process from start to finish probably takes about 20 minutes. Be patient, watch your flame, and just let them get nice and golden brown and sticky and they cook down until they're almost like a jam. Okay, these onions are looking good. I'm going to take them off the stove, let them cool a little bit, and then they'll be ready for our rolls. So my dough's been in the fridge for four to six hours and as you can see it's nice and, and elastic and ready to go. I've lightly floured a board right here and I'm going to cut it in half, just divide it right in half like that and then I'm going to roll each section out to about a half inch thick rectangle. Now this dough is sticky so you may want to have a little bit of flour on the side just like that and you can see it's sticking a little bit but don't over flour it because then the dough will get really stiff. There you go. It's very easy to work with and you can smell it. It smells wonderful. I'm going to move this over because I need a little bit more space. Getting close. The next thing you do after you've got your dough rolled out to the thickness that you want, which again is about a half inch, is so I'm going to take some softened butter, and I've got five tablespoons of butter right here, and I'm going to just spread it right on the dough like that. It's not a locale 
recipe, but so what? Okay, and then the next step will be to add sauteed Vidalia onions right here. And that those smell really good. Spread that out. There you go. Now, the great thing about these rolls is that they rise in the muffin tin. So all you have to do, and you can, it's stretchy too, so if it seems to sort of bounce back a little bit, just stretch it out. It's not a delicate dough. And I'm going to start rolling it from the long end that's facing me like this. Oh, those look good. Just keep rolling them like that. Again, the dough is really stretchy and easy to work with. It doesn't tear easily. You can tuck it back, that onion in a little bit. And there you go. There you go. Now, next thing I'm going to do is slice these about a half inch thick like this. And they're going to go into, right into the muffin pan. So once you've cut this section up, you're just going to repeat the same process with the other half of your dough. Now I'm going to take my rolls and place them in the muffin pan that's been pre-greased with butter, but you could probably use a cooking spray if you prefer. And I'm going to put them in a warm, draft-free place to rise for about 20 minutes. I have a proofing feature on my stove, but if you've got a radiator or a wood stove or something like that, you don't want to cook them, but you do want a nice warm place for them to rise up. So now my rolls have risen. As you can see, they look nice and poofy, and I've melted about two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to brush the rolls gently with a little bit of butter, or a lot, if you like that, which I do. And then I'm going to put them in a preheated 400 oven for about 12 minutes. Keep an eye on them. You don't want them to be raw in the middle, but you also want them to be nice and golden brown. So here are my caramelized onion dinner rolls. Look how beautiful they are. They're golden. They smell incredible. I wish you could smell them. They go wonderfully with salad, with any meat, vegetable, or fish dish, or eaten alone with a little bit of butter, which is how I'm going to eat them in about two minutes.